Alright, so the story is pretty much told and done. So why am I here talking to you again? Well, we still need to answer one more important question that a lot of you probably still have on your mind. That question being, where do I go next? You just finished the series and you need some more lore in your life, but you don't know where to go. Well, that's where I come in. Join me one last time and let us go down the rabbit hole. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is to watch the actual show that got Lorne famous. There are two versions, the original airing of the show and the uncut version with all of the cameras displayed. While you're at it, you should watch other To Catch a Predator episodes just to get a feeling of how the show is supposed to work. After that, you can read the chat log that Lorne had with the decoy Kayla that's still up on the Perverted Justice website. It's pretty long, but it's a good read. If you don't want to read it yourself, you can find other creators who have read it and just listen to their audiobook version of it. There's the version that Lauren reads with Debbie and Emma. There are some sections that Lauren reads with Winnie. Bay Shaman has read it in full and it's still on his website. There are so many others, but these were the ones that stood out to me. The Holy Lornography, read by Bay Shaman, Chapter 1, September 17th, 2007. Hi, are you so please? Hi, 13, female, Kentucky. Wow, you're just a young one, huh? Rose, a little cutie too. If you finished reading the chat log and you want a deeper analysis of it, then you should go check out Andrew Burkett, a lorenography veteran who primarily discusses the chat log. He doesn't do it alone either. He's usually accompanied by Shins Koala, a legal expert, Tiffany Lockhart, the voice of Debbie and Casey, who has insight in dealing with Lauren, and Amanda James, not THE Amanda James, just A Amanda James. Oh, by the way, the chat log also comes with its own set of phone calls. Lauren didn't just text Kayla, but they actually talked on the phone a couple of times. The person Lauren was actually talking to was a perverted justice decoy, and it's a quick listen since it's only 10 minutes long. Promise? I promise. You're too much of a sweetheart. Thank you. My precious little princess. <laughs> I like it when you call me that. <laughs> I like calling you that. I like calling you my little baby girl, too. For Lauren's time in prison, you can just go watch Lauren's prison journal, which is a full reading of Lauren's journal that he kept while in prison. It's about 2 o'clock p.m. right now, and I'm sitting on my bed writing another entry for this book that I'm going to write a letter to my mother. A couple of guys pled guilty to their charges. Vern pled guilty to his assault charge for 25 years. I think that's a bit ridiculous, but the whole American justice system is messed up, so it's to be expected. Next, there is the Church of Cod, which is pretty much a dead name. Nobody uses that name anymore, but there are some good videos about it. There's Date Next video on the Church of Cod, which is the video I use a lot for research. When I picked Lauren as a topic, I didn't really realize the extent of the shit show I was getting myself into. I've known about Lauren for some time now. Well, at least I thought I did, because to be honest, I really didn't have a fucking clue. I knew the basics. Back in 207, Lauren Porny got busted on to catch a predator. He had one of the longest chat logs on the show. He served some time and later started uploading videos to YouTube. There's the interview Pope Pendleton held with Betty, where she goes into detail about Lauren and his dubious business. Okay, um, first of all, thank you for giving me this opportunity to turn other people's attention to this man so that you never, if you are in the Maine area, the state of Maine, Never, ever, 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 ever hire this man to do any work for you. Mm -hmm. okay. And there's a video on Heisenberg White's channel that's a very good and informative watch as well. Uh, you know, to the individual, it can be whatever it, whatever they prefer it to be. I, I, sure, I'm sure it could be either, you know. There's no one answer for everyone. Uh, at times, I have felt like it was a religion. So, I guess, I hope it's a religion. I guess that's the answer. I hope it is. I hope, I wish it, I wish it was. If you've gotten this far and want to talk to other people in the community, then you can go to the Temple of TCAP, 
a discussion board for all things TCAP, including Lorne. It also contains Lorne's chat log in full and Taken Abroad, a book Lorne wrote while in prison. Alright, enough of this stuff. Where are these phone calls I keep hearing about? Well, first there is The Dump, a Google Drive folder that has the majority of Lorne calls in it. If you want access, you can email Clobbering Time or look around for it. I'm sure it's somewhere floating out there, unless it's deleted or taken down again. If you don't want to go through the hassle, there are a large amount of Lorne phone call archive channels that make these calls more accessible to the public. Raptor Bacon, Nobu Cyborg Savage, and Prince Cod have a lot of these calls. Raptor Bacon in particular also has really nice editing, so I enjoy his stuff a lot. Kelp Pill has a lot of phone calls and a good amount of them are new and have never been released before. Joey's TCAP channel is home to both the Michelle Simpson and Paul calls. He also frequently posts updates on predators from the show and what they're up to now. Okay, so you have these phone calls, but you don't really want to listen to them alone. Well, fear not because there are actually live streamers who stream themselves listening to these phone calls and interact with the chat. We have the Lorne Identity, a fan favorite of mine. Clobbering Time, someone who not only streams calls, but also holds charity events to raise money for good causes. Clark Vader, Dark Lord of the Simps. Wine Lover, the person who voices Jamie Amy, and a place where you can find a lot of 2020-2021 Lorne content. Healborn slash Reborn, the voice of Will, and a place where you can find more Jamie Amy and Will calls. We also have WB slash H, the Great Baspi, Vast Ravioli, Mike Pence, and there are tons more, but these should get you started. Other creators that don't really fall into the previous categories, but I do want to mention are Wes Most and his documentation on weirdos that mess with him, Candid Fellow, a Lorne meme machine, Baked Salmon, who's actually not a fish, Teacap Recipes, pretty self-explanatory. I don't know how this one got on here, but next we have Jordan Comedy, and the only thing it says is, Yaha, Yaha, my blue eyes are my superpower. Sloth Cat, who makes wonderful animations. Alpha Male Derek, your one-stop shop for all things Joran. The Skip Tracer, a man who is best at investigation and skip tracing. A couple of misdemeanors, a new channel made by Tiffany and Amanda James where they go over true crime cases. And then there's me. I'm sorta kinda bored. I'm sorta kinda bored. I'm kinda sorta bored doesn't really flow well, it doesn't make any sense. Thank you so much for watching my series. As you can tell, I put a lot of time into it and I had a really, really fantastic time making it. I'd love to give a special thanks to Clobbering Time, Kelp Pill, and Joey. If it wasn't for them, then this series would have taken a much longer time to get out. Thank you all for a thousand subscribers. I never thought I'd actually reach that milestone and I never really gave my thanks proper because I was too busy working on this series, but I am very grateful for it. As for this series, I'm pretty much done with it. I know there's still the Jamie Amy stuff and the fact that Lauren is still alive, but I don't think there's enough there to make another video, so I'll just wait patiently. When there is enough information to make a new video, you bet that I'm coming back to make it. But for now, I'm going to have to bid you all goodbye. As for the channel, I actually have no idea what direction I want to take it. There is one more video that I want to make for this series, but it technically isn't part of this series because it doesn't cover anything new, but I think it would be useful so I am going to make that video. I really want to make videos on stuff like the back rooms because that has been getting more popular and I think all of that stuff is really really interesting and I have a couple of cool ideas about it. I want to make more videos like these where I go and I research someone and make videos about them but I don't know any more locales so any suggestions in the comments will be greatly appreciated. I don't know, I'm kind of just thinking out loud, so I'm just gonna go and call it a day. I'd love to hear all of your thoughts. I'm going to read the comments on all of these videos because I haven't been doing that, so I'm going to just binge that, and then I'm going to sleep for a really, really long time. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time on Lauren Armstrong and the Legacy of Cod.